What's up guys, Rob here. And I had to make a video about this because it's just blowing my mind. Uh, I just, it's, it's so weird. I, I just need to talk about it. So today is officially my birthday. Uh, I was born December 13th, 1982. So I am an 80s kid, and um, there are a lot of great films that came out in the year 1982. Some of which I'm going to mention in this video uh, a little bit later on. But there's one film that came out that really stuck with me, and it got me into horror films. And you've heard me talk about this before. Friday the 13th, Part 3. Uh, in my opinion, the best of the series. This is the movie where he first gets his iconic hockey mask. I mean, when you think of Jason, you think of him wearing the hockey mask. Um, even though there are people who prefer the uh, sack over his head. But the iconic look is with the mask, the hockey mask. So... This movie is very special to me in a lot of ways. For one thing, this came out uh, the year I was born. Uh, second thing is, this was the very first horror film that I ever saw. Third thing, this is the very first horror film that I ever collected. The fourth thing is, today is Friday the 13th. How weird is that? It's almost like I was destined to like this film. I mean, it comes out the year I was born. It's the first horror film I ever saw. It's the first horror film I ever collected. And today, on my birthday, it is Friday the 13th. It's just weird. Like, all that lines up. It's, it's, it's strange that I made that decision so long ago about starting to collect horror films, starting with this. And this being my favorite of the series. I mean, hell, I like all the Friday the 13th movies. I've, I've made that very clear in a lot of videos that I love them all. I don't even think, you know, one is even bad. I like Jason X for what it is. It's it's stupid, but it's, it's fun. Jason Goes to Hell, I think, is underrated. You know, part five is hilarious. I like all the Friday the 13th movies. This one is my favorite, and it's just, it's so strange. I just needed to talk about this. Like, I, it's Friday the 13th today. It's my birthday. This came out the year I was born. Wow. Anyway, I, yeah, I just had to say something about that, but, um, I'm going to list a bunch of movies here that came out the year I was born, and they're just some of my favorites. And of course, I already mentioned Friday the 13th Part 3. Uh, we are going to talk about Amityville 2 The Possession, which I think is way better than the original film. Um, there's just more going on in this movie. Um, I think it's more entertaining than the first movie. First movie. You know, the first movie does have some great moments and some most iconic moments, but I don't know. It's a little slow paced and I just feel like more happens in the second movie. Here we have Blade Runner. Uh, this is the final cut with Harrison Ford. Um, yeah, this movie is pretty much a masterpiece. I mean, it is visually stunning. Blade Runner 2049 was amazing. That movie was... That's that's what you say um, to somebody, hey, you know, you want to see a good sequel, 
go see Blade Runner 2049. You know, that's how that's how you do a sequel. That's how you do a throwback. Um, and Jared Leto was way better in that movie than he was in Suicide Squad. So, but uh, yeah, great movie right here, Blade Runner. Uh, another one is Creep Show, um, which is you know pretty pretty cool stories there. Um, I haven't got the Blu-ray of that one yet. I only got that four pack. Uh, of course, you know E.T. Uh, how can you not mention E.T.? Um, one of the greatest movies ever made, really. I prefer. Here's the thing. Um, a lot of people go back and forth on this. I actually prefer this movie over E.T., but I still love E.T. I just think Close Encounters is actually a better... I think it's a better paced film, and I do like the story a lot more. Um, I think it's an interesting story. Um... Even though this was geared towards, you know, children. That third act, though, is kind of messed up. But, yeah. I still love it, though. Next, of course, we have First Blood. Not my favorite of the Rainbow films, but it's definitely um, one of the best. That's for sure. Even though I like all the Rambo films. I've stated that in my ranking. I like them all. Uh, even Last Blood, and a lot of people crept on that film. But... First Blood, definitely iconic, for sure. Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! Spitting! All kinds of vile crap! Who are they to judge me, huh? Who are they? Unless they've been there and done that! Okay, I'm stopped. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Um, probably the most hated... Halloween film of the series at the time because no one liked the fact that Michael Myers wasn't in it and then they brought him back. But now people have more respect for this movie, including me. I was actually on the hate train for this film, but I really like this film now. Um, I love the music. I love the story of the Stonehenge thing and the masks. Awesome. I just, it's, it's definitely, this is definitely a unique film for sure. The next one, I actually just rewatched this not too long ago. An Officer and a Gentleman with Richard Gere and Deborah Winger and Lou Gossett Jr. This is a fantastic film. Uh, my parents always used to watch this on television back in the day. And it has kind of a really, I don't know, it's, it's a real epic ending to this where he basically takes the, the love of his life and uh, gets her out of the factory, um, you know, because she's had a dead-end job. And he takes her away because he's a naval aviator. And they're going to travel the world and stuff like that. But to get there, he has to earn her respect. And earn the respect of the uh, colonel who is played by Lou Gossett Jr. It's, you know, Richard Gere, he is a good actor. Uh, some of the roles he's in, I just don't care for. Like Knights of Rodanthe and st stuff like that. I You know, he was great in Unfaithful. Fantastic. Pretty Woman, that's a movie that is more of a chick flick than anything. And Richard Gere's been in plenty of chick flicks. I just, I like him in movies that are maybe more drama based, I'd say. Maybe even thrillers. But uh, this is definitely, definitely a good one if you have not seen it. Which one are you, boy? I don't see no horns, so you must be a queer. Where are you from, boy? Oklahoma, sir. Ah. Only two things come out of Oklahoma. Steers and queers. <laughs> Next up is Poltergeist. I don't really need to talk about how creepy this movie is. Okay, one of the creepiest. Some of the stuff is messed up. I was this girl. Okay, we had a television exactly like that. It sat on the floor. It was a huge TV. And the snow, the snow effect that's on the TV would always happen at our house. And I'd always think of this. Exactly like that. 
Ugh. Next up is Rocky Three, of course. Come on! Come on, Creed! Come on! You better wipe that face off your... Well, you better like the... What did you say? You better wipe that look off your face before I knock it off! Um, Rocky Three is very entertaining, just like Rocky Four. This movie has a lot going on. Um, there's actually three fights. There's Rocky vs. Thunderlips, which is Hulk Hogan. There's Rocky vs. Clubber, where he loses. And then Rocky vs. Clubber again for the final. Uh, but you have a lot going on. You have Rocky being trained a different way. You have Mick, who dies. It's th This movie is non-stop entertainment. It really is. And I love the fight between him and Clubber. I think Clubber was awesome, played by Mr. T. Hey, woman. Hey, woman. Hey, listen here. I bet you stay up all night wishing that you had a real man. I tell you what, bring your pretty little self over to my place tonight, and I'll show you a real man. You want it, you got it! Setups? Nah, they weren't setups. They were good fighters, but they weren't killers like this guy. He'll knock you in tomorrow, Rock. What are you talking about? I had ten title defenses. That was easy! What do you mean easy? They was handpicked. <laughs> Rocky three, excellent. Uh, here we have Swamp Thing. This movie creeped me out. Uh, during the later '80s, early '90s, um, I first saw this film. I always got creeped out by this. It's because of the the costume of Swamp Thing, like he, because it was an actual guy with, uh, you know, like in a suit. Um, I don't know what it was. I was always afraid to look at him. Always. Um, there he is right there. I mean, it was just my imagination running from me. You know, I was just always thinking like, you know, when the woman's in the swamp and he's, ugh, it's just something about his look. I always, it reminded me of Creature from the Black Lagoon. That's exactly what he reminded me of. Uh, but more of a creepy version. I don't know why I just found him so, so grotesque and creepy. Uh, the last one I'm going to mention, of course, is John Carpenter's The Thing. Um, now, at this point, when I first saw this movie, I never saw A Thing from Another World. Because, um, of course, this is a remake. Um, so I saw the, this movie first. And then went back and saw the original. And I, I like, you know, both of these. But this one I probably prefer a little bit over the original. It's just, it's great. I love the monster effects. I love the story. And Kurt Russell's fantastic. What more can I say about The Thing? So, those are the movies that I picked uh, that came out in the year 1982, the year I was born. Um, and, you know, some of, the, some of the great ones, you know. Um... Being an 80s kid, I really appreciated, like, the culture at that time. You know, the, the clothing, the music. Of course, I was into Michael Jackson. I was very, very much into Michael Jackson. Um, I had, like, everything he 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 was doing. Um, I got to see Captain EO and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> then there was the toys. Transformers. G.I. Joe. Thundercats. He-Man. The greatest toys ever, okay? Ninja Turtles, which was like 90s. I, oh, God. Being, at that time, you know, being young was awesome. It was awesome. There was so much, oh, so much to do. I just always reminisce about it. I always reminisce about um, when I was younger. I would never really be inside. I would always be outside playing football or basketball or going down to the creek, down to the forest area that's located down the street, uh, daring my friends to go in the cemetery at night because I'd be the only one who had the balls to do it. Um, I'm always, you know, doing stuff outside. I was never really inside. Um, but I always enjoyed watching movies, and I always enjoyed playing with action figures, collecting action figures, even playing video games. Um, I want to say I was more of a movie guy than a video game guy, and I still am. I mean, look, these aren't video games. So, um, 
anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here. I just needed to make this and just talk a little bit about, uh, you know, like the, the main basis of the, the video was to talk about Friday 13th Part 3 and how my birthday is on Friday the 13th. It's just, it's just weird that those came together like that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and um, I hope you're enjoying my Star Wars reviews. Uh, really quick, I'm working on the other ones right now. Dan and I filmed some intros because we, I don't know, we just wanted to make it funny and entertaining. So I hope you guys are enjoying those. Um, and we're putting bloopers at the end and just, just going crazy. Just because we're, I don't know, we're just like acting stupid sometimes. Uh, it's all in good fun, you know. Um, so yeah, and next week is of course Rise of Skywalker, which we're going to be going to see on Thursday. Hopefully I'll have a review up. Uh, soon uh, also this Saturday is going to be another podcast I believe on Alex's channel Alex 2.0 we you know we did our last podcast talking about the first three Star Wars movies the the prequels now we're going to be talking about the original trilogy four five and six and then we're probably going to do another podcast later on talking about of course um, you know Force Awakens Last Jedi and uh, Rise of Skywalker. So that's coming up too. A lot of cool things. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a Christmas, probably something on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, maybe even vlogs or something like that. So uh, anyway, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Also, uh, really quick, if I make 100 subscribers, I'm going to be having my very first contest and you don't want to miss that. So um, yeah, subscribe if you, if you feel like you like stuff on this channel or if you support any of the videos I do. Um, so yeah, I really thank each and every one of you. So Rob signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video.